it's early summertime, and I mean, it is balmy, very steamy out here. Got a water hole right in front of me, and I've got some bait on about 12 yards. This is the Whisper G2. It's the uh, second generation of air rifle made by Gamo. And I recently did a video where, well, I compared how pellets shot, the different kind of pellet loads, just like you would on a Sierra Fire rifle. And I picked out three of my favorite Gamo pellets, and I went out and I actually found out which pellet this rifle likes. And the rifle actually likes a pellet called the Rocket. And, uh, it's extremely accurate. I sighted it in at 25 yards. Very accurate. I've got a lot of good confidence in it. So I'm set up here. I don't know if I'm seeing anything or not. The wind is kind of swirling. I've eliminated my scent. And now we're going to stay put and just see if we can get a hog in here. And hopefully get with laser accuracy. Put a pellet, the 22 caliber pellet, right in his brain. And drop him where he is. There's about a 40 yard opening around this whole mud hole. And so I'm not going to see anything until it appears out in the open. The hog will not come from behind me, I guarantee you. And the reason why is because the wind is in my face. And although I use scent killer, doesn't matter. A hog's going to smell you no matter if you're in a space suit, he's going to smell you. But scent killer is going to eliminate 99% of human odor. So We've done the best we can. And if a hog comes in, he's gonna come in right through there. That's a 22 caliber pellet right there. It's called the rocket. We're gonna see if we can put it to work. velocity round that would have probably eliminated any of that kicking but it knocked him right through the skull right in the brain and the brain is about the size of an egg on pigs that size right there and this little 22 powered air rifle I mean it does a trick the key to it is is making sure you find the right pellet that has good penetration and very very accurate and then take your time take your time and make sure you make a good shot, and it'll do that right there. All 
right, well here we are. And we've got two nice eating sized hogs. And you know, this is a, a Whisper G2. This is second generation air rifle made by the folks at Gamo. It's a package gun. It has, uh, I mean, the smooth action trigger and it comes standard with the little Gamo scope on it. And it's a tack driver. I mean, I did a, a test to find out which pellet it liked and, uh, and I know that the, the pellet that I'm shooting, the rocket, and it's from Gamo 2. I mean, this thing patterns so tightly that it's very easy to place a well-placed shot in the brain of a hog. Now, we've got a little boar hog right here, and he probably, oh, 20 pounds. You know, he's uh, maybe 25 pounds. This right here, on the other hand, is a little sow. She's probably 10 to 12 pounds. Perfect for the barbecue pit. And Texas is overrun with hogs. This is Hog Wild Adventures, just north of Houston, Texas. Occasionally, you may hear something go overhead as an airplane because the Houston Intercontinental Airport is about 45 minutes that way. But anyway, the place is covered up with hogs. It's a perfect place for me to come and field test for the first time the second generation Whisper G2 air rifle made by Gamo. And I'm very, very thrilled with the way it performed. Keep in mind, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna have to shoot relatively close distances. I was shooting this as 22 yards to this spot right here and I sighted in the rifle at 25 yards, so I know exactly where it's shooting. I was, uh, I limited myself to about this distance right here, although I saw more hogs further away. There's no way that I would attempt a shot like that just simply because they're too far away, especially when you're using an air rifle. Now this is the 22 caliber. This particular, uh, the Gamos Whisper G2 comes in 177 or 22. I like 22 because it has a little bit more ump, but the 177 is great for animals up to say the size of jackrabbit. So anyway, this is a pretty cool deal. Oh, you talk about knocking him on his butt. Ooh, look where that hit him. Perfect. 